So hello and welcome to the episode. And today I'm taking my newly acquired KTM 390 adventure on an adventure. Oh my god, this is way muddy. Why did I come down here for? Whoa. Now I've stalled it. Right. So if you haven't watched already, I've done the reveal of this bike. I've brought another KTM 390 adventure, so that makes two KTM 390 adventures on this channel. Jody's got one, and I've got one. And this is the first time I'm taking this one off-road. So I explain my reasons why I purchased another KTM 390 and got rid of my GS uh, 1200. And that is in a separate video, and I will link that in the description below. If you are confused and you've just come back or you're new here, all will be revealed. Right, so this is what I missed. I really wanted to take my GS off road, but uh, it's just too big. Too damn big. And this bike, <laughs> it's so fun. So fun. Yeah, it ain't got the power, but I tell you what though, you can not have a lot of fun on it, and when you open up that throttle, because it's such a little nimble bike, it feels like you're going so fast. So fast. Oh, got some people up here, walking their dogs. Sorry. There's... I've got well filthy look then. <laughs> so, I suppose that's a good thing about this KTM, is uh, the exhaust is really quiet, so you're not upsetting the wildlife and the locals when you do take it off road. Oh, this is awesome. I've missed this, I really have. I wouldn't be doing this on the GS, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Don't get me wrong, I love the GS. It's just more of a bike than I'd ever need. Than I'll ever need. I'm so happy I've got this back. I really miss the KTM 390. This is a 2021 version. It's only done 1400 miles. The same as my wife's 2023 one. That's only done 1400 miles. This has got pivot pegs on it so you can stand up it feels absolutely perfect and it's got crash bars on it for when I don't crash it I'm so glad honestly I'm, I'm really happy with this bike I know what it's all about KTM have made a fantastic machine and I love that 390 engine. It is absolutely awesome. What an engine. It's such a racy little 390. It's not like your average thumper. That's all a bit chuggy. It likes to be revved. Hey. Back out a little bit there. It's quite sandy for here. <laughs> Very sandy. That's where Joe dropped it. <laughs> In a previous video where she, well, I say dropped it, she dropped her 310 GS. Which wasn't great off road. KTM 390 is a much better machine for going off road. This one gets really sandy here as well. <laughs> That's what Joe didn't like. But this handles it so well. It's a bit squirmy. It's very sandy indeed. Got the TKC 70 tyres on the back. And on the back, on the front as well. Back and front. And they're not great for sand. They're not great at all. So <laughs> a lot of, uh, it's good exercise doing this. <laughs> Very good exercise. It's 
Sorry if I'm breathing heavy. I'm just really excited. It's proper muddy through here, isn't it? I'm a complete novice at going off road, by the way. So if you're thinking, why not going quick or whatever, I'm just slowly learning and what bike to do on, eh? Last time I went left, shall I go right? There's a dog walker up there. Let's go right. Let's see where this ends up. It's all new to me, this is. I have no idea where this ends up. Oh man, that's well muddy. We're going to get dirty. We are going to get dirty. The bike's going to get dirty. <laughs> yes, the bike will get dirty. This is an adventure bike, Nicholas. <laughs> Poor thing. What, he just got it? That's what it's all about, though, isn't it? Well, I find the dirtier bikes get, adventure bikes get, the more authentic they look. So if you don't like cleaning bikes, get an adventure bike. Because that's what it's all about. Now, if you do want to keep them clean, they're a bastard to clean. For all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> this is cool. It's exactly ideal. Because uh, it's not too it's not too gnarly for me, you know. I'm saying that I ain't been down here yet. Never been down here before, so I wouldn't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I like opening up and the back just slides out a little bit. It's rather cool. So where are we going? Is this more sand? I hope it ain't. It's real spins. Oh, this is a big puddle. I'm going to go around that one. Sod that. <laughs> this would make a good photo actually around here, wouldn't it? A KTM 390 in its natural habitat. Al natural. Let's get it in. Speaking of... N. Let's get it in neutral. That's it. Love it. I love it. Oh my god, that is filthy. <laughs> right, let's carry on. Slightest clue. It's got a lot of sand here. A lot of sand. Got to go through the muddy bit, haven't we? Let's get it really muddy. Get us really muddy, shall we? <laughs> I think I'm on someone's bloody farm, aren't I? <laughs> Is this not a public road? D didn't see a sign. Hmm. Extremely muddy. Do you go for the big puddle? Or do you go for the little puddle? Private property! Oh dear. No trespassing. That's not good, is it? Oh, there's a rabbit. Oh, I didn't see that side until now. Shall I turn around? I did not know I was on private property. I'm hoping this leads out somewhere. Somewhere. Or I ain't got to turn around and pass the farmer that's going to potentially shoot me. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Where is civilization? No idea. Hmm. 
no idea. I don't know where I'm going to end up here. I'm probably going to end up getting shot. I did not know on, I was on private property. Hmm. There's a rabbit. I'm sorry to disturb your wildlife. I'm going to have to turn around because I'm not in a good place. There's no road anymore. I didn't know. I'm on these crops now, look. <laughs> oh dear. This is really testing the ability of the ad little adventure, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, if you're a skilled rider, then yeah. But I wouldn't have took my GS down here. I would have been sweating, panicking. And I said all along, when I first got my, uh, when I got the KTM that Joe's got, the 390, the first one, I said I want to explore all these little green lanes and that. And I, uh, before I got the GS, my intention was to do it on that. But after riding it and realising <laughs> it's actually a bloody tank, I didn't think it would be a good idea. So I've been thinking on the back of my mind what to get. I nearly brought Himal uh, Himalayan. So close to buying one. But this came out for sale. Just around the corner to me. That stupid price. So you can't turn that down, can you? Especially on a fantastic machine. No public right of way, private property. Whoops. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, that is cool. That is awesome. What a bike. Private road again. Whoops. So sorry. I do apologise. It was an accident. I won't do it again. This is exclusive YouTube footage. I ain't gonna risk it. I didn't know this was private. Got a little bit lost, you see. <laughs> it's cool though. I'm glad I didn't get shot. Getting back to civilization now. Sorry guys. Right, how do I get out? Is it straight? Maybe. I think it is. <laughs> Let's go through the puddle, fuck it. Well, it's going to need a clean after this. Oh, you can lock the back up, it's so cool. Oh, it's a car, fuck. He's going to tell me off, probably. The way he was looking at me, he was like, what are you doing on my land? Get off my land, boy. Get out. <laughs> oh, locked it neutral. I panicked, I saw the pedestrian. Right. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but hey. I'm going to take the gnarly route with all the puddles because why not <laughs> soaking these bumps up fantastically <laughs> I must say that was a big bump oh, I keep going straight Nicholas this is where we are Oh, there's a, there's a big puddle again. I've got to go this way this time, and I? I've got to... Oh, hit my foot on the side. What a dickhead. This is well cool. Got to do right here. Why am I indicating? What an idiot. 
Yeah, this is it. Go on, fucking hell. Don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I've really got muddy tyres now. Extremely muddy. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. Hey! Go oh, fucking hell! Here we go through the mud. Oh, God, it gets a bit squirmy. It's really overgrown, isn't it? It's a bit different from when Joe and I went. It's a lot more vegetated. I've got a feeling this bike was absolutely filthy. And I'm just gonna put a clip in now from the future and show you how dirty this bike has become just today. <laughs> Oh my god, this is way muddy. Why did I come down here for? Whoa. <laughs> what a div. That weren't very fun. I've stalled it. I've stalled it. <laughs> that was mental. Hey. So one thing you do realise when you take your bike off-road is how unfit you are. And I'm knackered, just for doing 20 minutes of it. Absolutely knackered. But I really had fun though, it's really good. Plenty more of this, I need to learn more. I can't wait to uh, progress my skills and discover more green lanes and stuff. So if you're local in the area and you know any green lanes, just let us know. Drop down in the comments. I want to explore more. All I've been doing is just going on Google and having a look at Google Earth or Google Maps. So on that note, I'm going to go home and give this a wash. Thank you for joining me. First off-road session on my KTM 390. This is my one. And Joe has got my old one, <laughs> which is newer than this one. But And I love this white, I really do. I prefer it to Joe's one, but don't tell her that. <laughs> so until then, I've been Nick, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Ride safe.